check for advanced restart button there is advanced restart button in this rom use it to boot into recovery and here here we go this is the latest twrp recovery available for poco x all the links for that are present in the community i updated it and there is a dedicated video made for twrp recovery also you can see here as you can see this is the latest twrp recovery available for poco x go to wipe section and select here advanced wipe and tell select dalvik catch and data and swipe here to wipe it go to home section and again select to install and select the micro sd card and wherever you downloaded and here people asking about the firmware there is a problem for in kerala they mentioned particularly if you flash 12.5.50 will the camera get any problems no you can definitely flash the form firmware is not meant for failure of any software or anything like that not even compared to hardware also it's just a supporting firmware for given build that's how it is it's not going to harm your smartphone you can flash it surya global 12.5.50 here we go it takes time after that go to home section again and select here rom zip file this is an unofficial build the pixel experience surya 12.1 it's an unofficial build whenever it gets official build i will be making that also and you can see here build date is 26th march that's the latest build available and with march security patch it takes a little bit of time to flash the rom wait until it gets flashed as you can see rom zip file has flashed successfully go to home section and again select here wipe and select here format data and type here yes and press this tick button done go to home section and again select reboot and select system this is how the flashing method for any particular rom here particularly pixel experience android 12.1 latest version with mars security badge but it's an unofficial build let's see what all the features and how is the bgma gameplay and how is the benchmark results everything will be explained in detail watch till the end of the video and let's begin this video Hey hi hello welcome back to my new video guys this is Sampath you are watching Sampath Samfax Poco X the custom ROM release this is Poco X with Android version 12.1 they mentioned but here it shows just Android 12 and 5th March 2022 is the latest security patch and the build date you can see March 26 and the kernel user is 4.14.273 snappy hot kernel has been used in this ROM you can see here pixel experience Surya 12.1 unofficial build let's see everything and uh, i've been running the cpu throttling test from last 10 minutes 23 seconds and 4 microseconds and maximum is 165 average is 137 and minimum is 98 million gips that's how it is and 75 percent of its maximum performance it is throttled i mean cpu is throttled it means there is a little bit of throttling going on here and there but it's okay for 10 minutes it's like that and uh, not just that before that i will show you the dialer before going into android benchmark results let me increase a little bit of volume here and direct video call feature is available in this rom and there is call recording feature no there is no call recording feature in this pixel experience many people waiting for pixel experience plus rom when they will release i also don't know and now see the benchmark results here we go 3,37,954 for Android to benchmark result temperature raise is now slightly increasing 1 degree celsius and 2 percentage of battery drop has been noticed during this testing it's fine enough and let me uninstall this app it takes background it takes a little bit of battery hence i'll uninstall that and let's see the geekbench scores here in this rom the single score and multi score performance as you can see single score is 545 and multi score is 142 1402 and android 12 and linux 4.14.273 snappy hot kernel has been used and regarding the flashing once again i am telling firmware use surya global not surya in global that's why it might be different between me and your flashing method and the battery life everything else i noticed one time with surya in global there was a internet issue going on so flash surya global firmware all the links have been already given in the community section you can have a look and also in the community section i will be giving 
polls questions and some of the uh, rom details there you can check out community section follow there and also follow me in instagram if you want any camera link like that that's how mostly i will be updating in the community section only whenever i don't have any proper like sharing the link in particular youtube section then i will share in instagram then you can dm me there and um, coming to drm info here you get level one certification such that you can watch all the ott applications in hd resolution that's not a problem and safety and status let's see it's get passed very good it's an unofficial build but still it get passed that's fine and i'm using here arno build gcam the wide angle is also working fine this camera application i'm not sharing in youtube here then for this you can dm me many people are coming to instagram for this particular camera application if i found any solution i would have updated in youtube itself but uh, that's how it is and into the settings as you can see this is the gcam i am using it's working fine all ultra wide and videos everything is working fine and i forgot this as you can see this is how the android 12.1 styles and coming to widgets that's also working fine here as you can see that's how it looks as you can see that how it looks if you want you can drag it and even you can change it later also that's how it is and uh, this is maybe the android 12.1 style let's see if i apply like this you can apply from here only it's cool enough but it taking a little bit of time here okay it's applied that's really cool and in the widgets that i already shown you and home settings you will get all the basic settings it's a pixel launcher only that's the new thing what i noticed that's really working fine and it looks a little bit cool once again i'll show you as you can see you can change the wallpaper from here itself as you can see that's really cool in my opinion as you can see it getting changed very good that's how it is and um, regarding cp throttling dash everything i have explained you can use payment applications also that's fine and coming to settings nothing new here battery you get all the options battery usage okay battery life you can see here screen on time of 58 minutes i am just set up up the device and running benchmark result and thermal profiles are also given you can adjust for individual applications battery percent turn on light when charging battery manager is given advanced battery server i mean extreme battery server is given as you can see this is only applicable in pixel experience rounds and app settings you get default apps from here if you want to change any apps from here you can change that and special app access also given nothing new let's see into the display you get this smooth display option you can enable from here and refresh it per app is also given you can adjust them here skin server is given and colors adaptive looks a little bit washed out use boosted natural also looks washed out and dark theme it's not pitch black condition you can see here i really don't like in pixel experience round that's the one thing i really don't like it in custom rounds they are using some use pitch black theme that's really good but what happens to this pixel experience i really don't know only that option making me to switch the other roms from pixel experience also do comment down in the comment section guys how you like the dark theme in android 12 pixel experience rom that you share your experience and accessibility menu it's working when it's a handy feature you can use the volume and brightness without touching and without sliding this quick settings panel you can use that that's an handy feature i'm keep on telling that and switch access is also given and select to speak is given sound amplifier this arrangements little bit changed before it wasn't like that as you can see captions preference and audio adjustment also given here you can adjust left and right channel and mode audio and stereo separation and security options you get face unlock and fingerprint unlock and encryption and credentials it is, it is an encrypted rom let's see the face unlock it will be quick enough only as you can see it's very very quick once again recognizing face it takes second fingerprint scanner it's quick enough i said i think yeah it's quick you can use this rom as a daily driver let's see the bgma gameplay i hope i explained everything in the system into the gestures also nothing new here system navigation you won't get any option to increase the pill length and even the radius that's how it is and uh, let's see the bgma gameplay 
nothing fancy here you can see the graphic settings you get smooth plus ultra only let's see boot camp how it handles am i following someone else no he is also going to boot camp the room temperature itself is going like around 35 to 40 nowadays even it will cross 40 very soon so getting warm device is very common avoid gaming too much if you have air conditioner then you can use it that's not a problem that's how summers the smartphone get warms really quick the room temperature itself very high then that's how it is and i told i will made a sorry i will make a video on how to cool your smartphone in summer but i am not getting time and people asking me to make a face cam video that's really difficult i need to sync that video and this video together with audio it's again a very difficult task it takes four to five hours to edit this particular video and that will take around eight hours see that's how it is i one person for that much time it takes a little bit of time you will get late videos hence i am i'll try to make it but that's how it is it's taking too much of time hence i'm skipping face cam i'll try with some of the oh no he got me and same game settings smooth plus ultra only no hdr and extreme like that options gameplay is still playable pixel experience is also very good rom if you can enable higher fps count it has stable gaming experience movement video is like what i thought is the release for some other smartphone hence i thought it will be released for poco x3 also very soon it's in development whenever it get released i will be sharing it out no need to worry about that and asking many people hence i am answering here also that's how it is regarding my mint rom and here you can see your volume panel it's almost 100 percent movement is like it's a very good rom for gaming also and even MIUI experience is also really better in that ROM ok I will come back that's how the pixel experience and at 12.1 with mars security patch and let's see the charging animation charging slowly it will improve later because of face unlock you can't see here what is written that's how it is i'm using this 33 watt charger only for your sake i will charge with 10 watt charger actually for my all smartphone whenever i have hurry or whenever i go outside out of station then only i use the 33 watt charger if you have like that you can use that it will improve your battery life for long term that's how you can save your battery by using slow chargers i already made a video on that from long ago two years before regarding how battery will explode and how can you improve the battery life i will give the link of that in the description you can check out and that's all guys in this video i hope I explained everything thank you for watching guys we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now